Hi, in this tutorial I continue with the next cover tool, Brightness and Contrast. The presets here are settings that we already discussed in the previous videos. This one here, edit the settings as levels. You can edit the settings as levels and uh, I'm going to talk about this tool. This is another cover tool, levels, and I'll talk about it in one of the next tutorials. And uh, of course brightness, we can decrease that, make the image darker, increase it to make it brighter. We can adjust the contrast. And as you see, there isn't anything complicated here or anything much that I can show you about these settings. That's why I'm going to talk about this contrast, what exactly it does, a little bit of science behind this, which might be interesting to you. The first thing I want to show you is grab the color picker here and select any color on the image. I'm going to open the color selection dialog and you see here that we have six different sliders for the hue, saturation, value, amount of red, green and blue in the image. And the combination of all these gives us millions of colors. Now if I go back to the brightness and contrast tool and increase the contrast all the way to 127 and I'll click OK here and I'm going to bring out another color to hue saturation here and notice which are our primary colors red, yellow, green, light blue, uh, cyan, blue, magenta and all of these colors and black and white are now found in this image and no other colors are here. So by increasing the contrast we are losing colors and if we go all the way up like I did here we can end up with maximum of eight colors which are the primary colors and the black and white. So what this contrast setting does is let's say it takes all the different variations of green and bring them towards this pure green color. And if I close this now and use the color picker to sample this color, you see that it's exactly in the middle here on the top, pure green color. If I sample the yellow, you see it's the same thing. Now you may be wondering what becomes black and what becomes white. Let's see that. If I sample this area here, you see that this is very close to the pure black color here and if I sample somewhere around here you see that this color is very close to the pure white color that's why when we increase the contrast it becomes white now if we decrease the contrast all the way down I'm going to click OK here and again we use the color picker to sample this you see that now we have pure gray color exactly in the middle here between the pure white and black let's cancel that and undo so by increasing the contrast we are losing variations of colors and bringing all the colors towards the primary colors. And notice here that this makes the image look like more clear, more detailed, but you have to be careful using this setting. And uh, if you do, use very small numbers here. So that's it for this tutorial. Like the video, subscribe, bye.